when I'm thinking about video experiences, I'm thinking about like a lean-in experience. Like what, what, can, what can you do around um, engaging the user in a you know, Twitch-like stream uh, experience or a, you know, even a betting experience or something that's, that's a little bit beyond the, the video itself. But what are, there's some, something to be said for I just want to lean back experience as well. Yeah, so sure. where do you think would be the right um, use cases for, for each? I think you just have to give them a choice. At the end of the day, if I want to make a bet on you know, uh, the red zone, I want to make a bet. And I want to be able to do it then. If I want to get more information from Amazon X-Ray about an actor, I want that. If someone talks about a company and I want to make an investment because I have a quick stock pick that shows me how the company is, just make it where it's opt-in, and I think you'll start to see if it's a value exchange for the consumer, and you make it easy for them to do that. Um, you know, I was with my daughter uh, the other day. She's watching old episodes of Gossip Girl, and uh, I said to her, hey, I think, you know, would you want to buy that dress on the show? She literally stops the show, turns to me, goes, are you going to build that? <laughs> and I'm like, well, maybe. And I'm like, well, why are you excited about it? She says, well, I could do it on Instagram and TikTok. Why can't I do it on there? Mm -hmm. So I think that's like, we're training this whole sort of expectation. And again, if you want to sit back, crack open a beer and watch something, then go ahead. But I think we have to do it. I think we can. I think we can create these experiences with data where it's a value exchange back to people. Yeah, I would say that, like, again, a lot of these things are not new, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the core concept of being able to do shoppable TV is, like, as old as 2009 and 10. <laughs> like, we built stuff like that back at, like, USA Network and Sci-Fi, yeah. where it's like, hey, buy the look. Sons of Anarchy, one of the first shows to actually roll out a whole line of merchandise around the show characters and having interstitials that allowed you to buy that directly from from the show. So I think the technology that we have today kind of really catapults it to a whole other level of interactivity. But um, you know, to Pete's point, choice. Choice is fickle, though, right? So you've got your core fans, your super fans, and fandom drives a lot of that interactivity. And then you've got like 80% of everyone else who just wants to watch the show. Mm -hmm. So being able to know and understand how you cater the right offering to that fan or to that viewer is really important. Right? And a great example of that is uh, a product we built you know, years ago for TNT. We were diving into the streaming video stats of the TNT app, and we noticed, like, hey, Tuesday nights at 9 p.m., like, skyrocket 350,000 people coming in concurrently onto the app. It's like, oh, yeah, that's right, an NBA game starts at 9 o'clock. And guess what? Every single person going there, 98% of them were going to do, turn on the NBA game. So why don't we just build a product called Instant On that as soon as you launch the TNT app, it brings you right into the game versus send you to a carousel, make some recommendations. And so you go and dig into the data to say like, ah, guess what, 98% of people are there for one thing and one thing only, let's give it to them. And then if they want to go away from that, the 2% can go find the other stuff that we had to offer. So you know, I think those core capabilities are things that you know, are still being experimented with today, and uh, I love seeing different use cases coming alive right now. Yeah, but I remember when we did March Madness, then you, you had to figure out the time clock, right? So we'd have to, basically we would just allow people to go diving in, and they had three hours mm -hmm. to watch three hours of content, and then, oh, by the way, we need your cable credential. So it was like this weird sort of scenario where we kind of made that happen, and then we had to figure out magically by each device when you start the stopwatch yeah. for each person. But the idea was the same. It's like, just get them into the game. Preview. Like, yeah. Just go for yeah. the preview. Yeah.